boys who will stop your little game. We are the boys who will make you think again. Cause who do you think you are kidding, Mr. Hitler? If you think old England's done, Mr. Brown goes off to town on the A21. But he comes home each evening and he's ready with his gun. So who do you think you are kidding, Mr. Hitler? If you think old England's done. Goodbye, Sally, I'm saying goodbye. Goodbye, Sally, I don't want you to cry. I want to see that smile. Gentlemen, right, Pierce, this is your show, so I'm going to allow you to do all the talking. Thanks, Charles. Well, gentlemen, this is it. it contains 2,000 pounds of high explosive and will knock out an enemy pillbox, no matter how thick, up to a range of three miles. It's called a high explosive attack device propelled by ultra high frequency. Code name Head Poof. <laughs> you can actually home it onto a target. With the radio. I'll show you, Sir Charles. We are here, enemy pillbox there. We start off. Now, it'll do anything we want it to do go around obstacles, turn left, turn right, it reaches the target, and hey, presto, up it goes. Well, I'm sorry, I shan't be able to be at the demonstration next week. But now tell me, what about security? This thing's red hot, you know. Well, I'm not going to use any of the usual test ranges. I've picked a deserted aerodrome on the coast near a place called Warmington on Sea. I'm calling it Operation Catherine Wheel. Well, you'll need plenty of troops to seal off the area. Oh, I'm not going to use regulars. I'm using those, what you call them, those home things. <laughs> <laughs> home things? But you mean home guards. Uh, yes, that's right. That's <laughs> where all the locals know the home guards, so they won't take any notice. My point is, if we don't create any fuss, we won't attract any attention. <laughs> sound thinking, Pius. Very mm. sound. Now, there are three platoons in the area. The East Gate, under Captain Square, they'll guard the entrances. The Dimwich, under Captain Graham, they'll patrol the perimeter and keep out any snoopers. Now, what about admin, fatigues, cookhouse? And who's going to dig the, uh, the what's the names? Who's going to do them? The Walmington on Sea Platoon. <laughs> now, they're run by a Captain, um, what's his name, Stuart? Uh, Captain Mannering. He's the local bank manager. And what did he say when you asked him to do the fatigues? Haven't told him yet. <laughs> I'm going to ask you today, sir. Well, it's not going to be easy to convince him that uh, his platoon's got to do the dirty work. <laughs> I'll talk him into it, sir. Give him plenty of soft soap, you know. Butter him up. <laughs> Make him feel important. There's nothing bank managers like better than feeling important. <laughs> Follow the white line all the way. Leading from the... And that, Captain Mannering, is a brief outline of the test. <laughs> I don't want to take up too much of your time. After all, you're a very important man. <laughs> All right, I wouldn't say I was all that important. <laughs> you, Wilson? <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> I see you always back your captain up, Sergeant. Yes, I always try to do my best. <laughs> well, Captain Mannering, I've uh, told you what the other Home Guard platoons will be doing at the test, but I haven't said what you'll be doing, have I? No, no, I'm very eager to learn. <laughs> <clears throat> well, uh, the fact is, uh, I uh, don't quite know how to put this. You see, uh, the fact is, uh, there are several things that have to be done, not very pleasant things, mm. and I, uh, best to say we, uh, but it's... Uh, <laughs> say no more, Captain Stewart. You're trying to tell me that you want us for special duties, aren't you? Special duties? That's it? I want you for special duties. <laughs> you can rely on us. What exactly are special duties? Oh. <laughs> what sort of question is that? Well, I don't know. I mean, why should I know? The thing's secret, isn't it? Yeah. Hush, hush. We'll find out when we get there. Oh, yes, you'll find out all right. <laughs> <laughs> Jolly good. Now, Captain Manning, I want you to get your chaps together and brief them. Oh, don't forget. Absolute secrecy. Oh, and here's a list of things to bring with you. Ah, thank you. You can rely on my men. They won't breathe a word to a soul. And uh, may I just say how proud and privileged I am that you've chosen my platoon for these special duties? Pay attention, everybody, please. Uh, platoon, platoon, attention. That's right. <laughs> Up. 
Thank you, Sergeant. Sergeant. Stand at ease. <laughs> now then. Mr. Speaker, sir, I'm sorry about the bunched upness of the men, but when you told us to creep down into this crypt, we didn't know that you wanted us to do parading motions. <laughs> All right, thank you, Jim. Thank you, sir. Now, I've asked you down here because what I have to say to you is secret, and I don't want it overheard by anyone. <clears throat> Captain Murray, would you mind speaking up a wee bit? <laughs> Can't hear a word you're saying. You're mumbling, mumbling. <laughs> the reason I'm keeping my voice down, Fraser, is because what I have to say is secret. It'll remain a secret unless you speak up. All right, <laughs> All right two and two and ten. Shut. Forward. March. Is that any better, sir? Thank you. <laughs> now, what I have to say is that... Uh, get these men back, will you? This is yes, ridiculous. all right. All right. Get them back. Backward, backward, shuffle. Off you go. All right, sir. All right, sir. <coughs> now, what I have to say to you must not go outside this crypt. You understand? Oh, yeah. Sir. Yes. Now, on Saturday, a new... Secret weapon is being tested on the disused airfield. And we have been detailed for special duties. Oh, what uh, exactly what we'll have to do, sir? I don't know yet, Fraser. But Captain Stewart has left a list of the articles that we have to bring along with us. So perhaps we can deduce something from that. Have you got the list? Well, yes, sir? I have, sir. Have read it out, would it, please? Somewhere here. Yes, right, here. Uh, right, so three knives and three shovels. shovels. Three knives and three shovels. Now, what are we to hazard from that? Well, I think I've got it, Captain Manning. If we find a fifth columnist, we kill him and then we bury him. <laughs> now, look, Walker. Don't start. <laughs> what else is on the list? Uh, three bars of soap, three scrubbing brushes and three buckets. <laughs> but it's a dirty secret weapon. <laughs> and we've got to clean it, see? No, I, I shouldn't think so, Corporal. No, I... I'm going to have experts for that sort of work. However, whatever it is, I'm sure you'll all back me up to the hilt. Oh, oh yes, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. sir, I've just been struck by something deadly. No, you can't tell me there are scorpions down here. No, uh, sir, I, I look at it this way. We are now all put in possession of highly secret information. Now, suppose we was captured by an enemy agent, sir. How long could we stand out against torture before we revealed ourselves? <laughs> <laughs> You're getting into the realms of fantasy now. Uh, just a minute, Mr. Man, don't give me that realms of what's in name, please. This is vital. I could be tortured. Any of us could. Oh, pull yourself together, Joe. No, sir, no, sir. I've got to wake you to this deadly danger, sir. I've got to wake you to it. Calm down. Calm down. Get back to the rest. Mr. Manley? Yes. They might use that torture where they tip your head back and pour gallons of water down you. Oh, dear. I don't think I can stand it much of that. I'd like to volunteer to be tortured, sir. I'd like to be the guinea pig, sir. I would like to suffer. I demand to suffer, sir. Yes. I demand to suffer, sir. Yes. Shut up! <laughs> what would you do that for? That hurt. Oh, oh, no, no, no. As you can see, the corporal is getting hysterical. Oh, He's getting us all on edge. Calm down. Keep quiet. Keep Settle down. Down. quiet. Settle down. Quiet. Now, I must warn you that whatever else happens, we've got Excuse to... Excuse me, sir. Yeah? There is somebody lurking in the shadows. <coughs> Pretend you haven't seen him. Yes, all right, sir. Think <laughs> nonchalantly and yes, change right. places with right, me. Right, right, right. Now. That's it. They're all right, yes. <coughs> now, I must point out to you that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, you Get your hands in. Oh, 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 how dare you spy on us? I wasn't spying on you. The light from your candles was flickering through the grating. No. A jelly plain to see it from miles away. Uh, don't point that gun at me. The Lord say he must have heard everything we said. Blimey, you'll blow the gaff. Of course I won't. I'm fighting for my country the same as you are. You can't rely on him, sir. A couple of drinks and he's a right blabbermouth. <laughs> Perhaps he could be all round the red line before closing time. I think you're right, Jones. We can't afford to take a risk. Captain Munhoney, I could... I could screw him down in one of my coffins. <laughs> 
<laughs> silly Fraser. For heaven's sake, he'd, he'd suffocate. Oh, well, if you're fussy, I could board a wee hole. Oh, get him back in your place, Fraser. Shoot him, Mr. Manry. <laughs> We're entitled to shoot oh, him. Oh, be quiet, Pike. <laughs> There's only one thing for it, we shall have to take him with us. Meanwhile, he'll have to be watched in case he talks to anybody. Yeah, well, I can watch him during the daytime, sir. I can help him out in his greengrocer's shop. I'm not having him in my shop. He'll cheat the customers. That'll make two of us. <laughs> <laughs> I can look after him at night. Thank you, Godfrey. <laughs> I'm not sleeping with that old man. <laughs> you mean I don't snore or anything? Yeah. Now, look here, Hodges. For eavesdropping on us, you could be prosecuted under the Official Secret Act. Rubbish. So do as you're told. Now, we've been detailed for highly secret and special duties. That's a great honour, and I'm not having it ruined by you. Believe me, Mr Chief Warden, You've got to be pretty special to be picked for special duties. If I only had wings, one little pair of those Special duties. Ah! Oh, I do <laughs> mind. Hoodwinked. That's what we've been, Wilson. Hoodwinked. I should have known not to trust that smarmy Captain Stewart. Well, you can't blame him, sir. I mean, he's, he's got a job to do. Well, you'll stick up for him, won't you? Both went to public schools, didn't you? No, I... <laughs> Can't help feeling, sir. You've got a little bit of a chip on your shoulder about that. There's no chip on my shoulder, Wilson. I'll tell you what there is on my shoulder, though. Three pips, and don't you forget it. <laughs> yeah. Napoleon, I wouldn't have missed this for anything. Oh, I'm glad I came now. <laughs> Ali's secret special duties. <laughs> Still, I suppose somebody has to do the cleaning up. I'll tell you what, it's a good job they're not using a troop of cavalry. Otherwise, you would have had your work cut out. <laughs> Before you address Captain Mannering, would you mind taking that filthy cigarette out of your mouth? Thank you, Wilson. Not at all, sir. Not at all. I just don't like to see you being addressed by, in a vulgar fashion, by outsiders. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Joe. Hello. I'm going to nip out in a minute. I want to listen to High Gang on the wireless. What are you talking about? There's no radio out here. That's what you think. Brought my portable with me. I've hidden it in the back of the van. Mr. Mannering. Now I know what they want us to bring the shovels for. <laughs> right, that'll do fine. Thank you very much. Sorry to keep you waiting, Minister, but we're ready to go now. Thank you, Colonel. Uh, tell me, what are those two aerial things sticking out of it? Uh, they pick up the radio waves that control it, sir. Amazing. What will they think of next? Hurry up, Joe. Close the door. Don't anyone to hear us. Here, where'd you get that, Peggy? Made it myself, didn't I? Got the instructions out of practical wireless. You were smarter than I thought you were, Pikey. Yeah, well, as my mum says, I'm not just a pretty face. Hey, listen, how can we miss on one pair of earphones? It's easy. You put one to your ear and I'll put one to mine. Oh. Hey. I can't hear anything. You sure it's working? Well, it's got to warm up, hasn't it? Oh. <laughs> hey, I can't wait to hear what Bibi and Ben are up to this week. Do you think Big Oliver really is 85? <laughs> Target is that concrete pillbox, quarter of a mile away. Are you ready, Sergeant? Yes, sir. Ready, sir. Are we all ready? Oh, yes, yes. Right, off you go, Sergeant. Right, sir. Single bleeps, that means forward. Turn left, Sergeant. Yeah. Yeah. That's two bleeps, she's responding. Turn right. Turn right. Splendid, splendid, that's three bleeps. <laughs> Excellent, Colonel. Excellent. Hi, gang. What's that? I've never heard it before. I have, sir. I heard it on Saturday. It's in feet of high gang. It's awfully good. What's happening, Sergeant? I'm getting a lot of interference, sir. I can't make it out. Well, get rid of it, man. That's not the signal for left or right. What is it? I think it's the one for coming towards us, sir. Come <laughs> up! It's all right now, sir. All right, now. I've got it under control now, sir. He's got it under control now. <laughs> there we go. Get back, get back! Get 
the transport quickly. You must follow me. Oh, there isn't any transport, sir. I told the driver to come back at tea time. I didn't think you wanted to see the test. You blithering idiot! I put my motorbike, sir. The Captain Manning's platoon have got their van. Right. Get on your bike and go over to Manning. Tell them to drive into Warmington and warn them that if that thing reaches the town, it'll blow it sky high. Then get to the nearest phone and warn GHQ. We'll try and get it back here by radio. <laughs> Thank goodness. That's the last. Those are some of the best peeled potatoes I've ever seen. No. Don't let it give you any soft soap. He's only trying to get round you because he's dropped you in it. That's it. Don't you talk to our captain like that for two pins. Yeah, I think you want one. Quick! Captain! I need your help. It's escaped. What has? The secret weapon. It's broken loose and it's going towards Warmington. It could blow the town sky high. You must warn them. Come on, man. Excuse me, sir. But we don't know what it looks like. It looks like a huge wheel. And it contains 2,000 pounds of high explosive. It contains 2,000 pounds of high explosive. Don't panic! Oh. Don't panic! Oh. Oh. 2,000 oh. pounds of high explosive oh. into oh. the van, everybody! Oh. Oh. Hiya, men! Into the van! I shall die. Look out, there's someone coming. Climb, cover it up. Hey, hey, what are you doing skulking in here, eh? Getting out of peeling the tarties. Yeah, what's going on? Uh, Warmington and Sea's going to be blown sky high if we don't what? get there at the doot. Right, come, come on, on Grandad, hurry up. Oh, jeez. You are the most vulgar, rude, and common man I have ever encountered. Ah, <laughs> Henry, yeah. what's that secret weapon look like? What does Stuart say it looked like, Wilson? Like a huge wheel. Like a huge wheel. Oh. Why do you ask, Frank? Well, I think he's trying to pass us. What? <laughs> Wave it on, Mr. Manrin. Get your foot down. There's 2,000 pounds of explosives in it. What? What? <laughs> He's still following us. He's still following us. Don't panic, Mr. Manrin. Don't panic. <laughs> turn, down, turn to the left down here. That'll fox it. Right up. Following us, it's, it's quite uncanny. I can't shake it off. I can't shake it off. No, it seems as if it's been attracted by something in the van. Perhaps it's taken a fancy to the spare wheel. <laughs> Get your head in again, Walker. Turn to the left again, down here. Right, sir. We've lost it! Thank goodness for that. It looked to me as if it was going to blow up almost immediately. Yeah, he didn't half look angry, sir. That would be absurd, Jones. How can an inanimate object look angry? I don't care if it wasn't any any object. <laughs> He's got a grudge against us. Well, what's going to happen to us if it blows up, sir? That's not our problem, Wilson. We've been told to get back to Warwick on Sea. That's what we're going to do. I know what I'm doing. Believe me, we've shaken it off. Whoa! It's an ambush! Back up, Joe! Back up! I told you to go to Grudge again, sir. Quick! Back down that side, sir. It's stopping, sir. We've got to try and put it out of action. Right. Everybody out! This is wise. <coughs> We've got to try and immobilize it, Wilson. You ask me, Captain Mannering, there are forces at work here that we know very little about. There's 2,000 pounds of high explosive in that thing, which we do know about. Stand by with the first aid kit, Captain. You put a lie on me, sir. Right. Come on, man. Permission to speak, sir? I'll immobilise it. I'll give it a poke with the old cold steel. Oh, you <laughs> I'd rather use the cold steel, if you don't mind, sir. 
So quiet, Mr. Mannering. Perhaps it's sulking. Get down, man! It's on his first screen! Careful with that gun at your silly old fool! I can't help you! I can't see where I'm going! Yeah! Oh, he hurt me, Mr. Mannering! I'll fix that bear at once, sir. What's happening, Mannering? Well, it's been following us, and we're keeping it under observation. <laughs> Where? There. Uh, good heavens, it's gone. <laughs> Where did all this smoke come from? From the secret weapon. That was phase two. We're going to phase three next. What's phase three? The explosion. What? what? Don't yeah. panic! Don't panic! Don't panic! Uh, it's going into phase three! Don't panic, boys! It's going up! It's going up! We've got to stop it, Mr. Mannering! I wonder why it tacked itself onto you. Have you got a radio in your van? No, sir. I was going to have a gramophone, sir, but it's difficult to steer and wind at the same time. Yeah, all right, all right. The point is, how can we put it out of action? Well, there are two aerials on it. One on the top and one on the side. Yeah. If you can chop those off, it's harmless. Ah. I know, sir. We can make out like Bodicea made out, sir. How do you mean? Well, she put knives on the side of her wheels, so it's quite simple, sir. And then as they go along, then... <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jones. Now! Over to three. Over to three. Over to three. Well done, Jones. We've done it. I've made contact, sir. Getting a signal. What's it sound like? A sort of groan, This is a fine time to run out of petrol. Well, I couldn't help it. We've been twisting and turning for miles. Yeah. Why don't we use that motorbike? One of us could sit in the sidecar with Pikey's portable radio. Portable radio? Yeah, I've just realised. That's what's been attracting the secret weapon. Yeah, I'll get the bike. You stupid boy. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you say something? When the captain asked if we had a radio in the back of the van. Didn't want to look a fool in front of him. All right, Frank, all right, all right. We wouldn't want you to make a fool of yourself either. You speak for yourself, Wilson. <laughs> Stop mollycoddling the boy. What's happened, sir? Captain Mannering for Cajun, sir, is keeping it under observation. Right! We'd better keep Captain Mannering under observation. Got it here, Wilson? Yes, sir. I'm going to lure it back yes. along the... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to lure it back along this road and up to the aerodrome. Right, sir. Right. You won't get too close to it, will you? I should have my head examined driving this. Move on. <laughs> Good luck. Well, it's very nice of that chap to lend you his motorbike. What did you say? I just dangled some petrol coupons under his nose. <laughs> <laughs> dangling, dangling. What's dangling? I thought there was a way of putting that secret weapon out of action. Mm? Joe, go and borrow them shears off that bloke. And I'll go and get the tow rope from the van. Okay, Josie, whatever you're going to do, I'm sure you shouldn't. It's a sense, we'll see. Look, there's a railway bridge up the road. Uh -huh. Now, all we've got to do is... Uh... Turn the volume up, Pike. Sarge. <laughs> <laughs> and wait 
to chop off his watch it. I'm downing, I'm downing. I'm dangling, I'm dangling. <laughs> I've chopped it. He's done it, he's done it. <laughs> That's it. I've chopped it, I've chopped it. Get him down. <laughs> Come on, a bit more. Uh, uh, I did it. Well done, Jim. Good man. I did it, didn't I? Splendid. <laughs> look, Mr. Manning, look. Henry? Mr. Menry? I've killed it. <laughs> Very promising first test. I somehow think you still have some work to do on it, sir. Yeah. You'll have to stop Baby Daniels interfering with you for a start. <laughs> Take that man's name, Captain. Thank you.